Back, back in the kitchen now with Lauren from the American Club in Kohler. He runs the Horse and Plow restaurant, which is the more casual restaurant. Um, great place to watch Packers game, correct? You can definitely uh, find a few televisions. I believe there's nine televisions in the Horse and Plow, so uh, definitely lots of time. Uh, it's definitely a pub. It's it's great casual food, upscale, heightened culinary experience. It's been a lot of fun working there. And the, the best, the best, uh, Bloody Mary. You're gonna, it's like a meal. Well, and you got to come try the Reuben. We're going to make it for you right now. So great. Uh, we're going to start with some pastrami. Normally, okay. a traditional Reuben uh, would would have uh, corned beef. We're going to go ahead and take a pat of butter. Okay. And throw that right on. We're going to go ahead and get that on the griddle. We'll go ahead and take that pastrami and leave it like that. So we're going to warm the meat a little bit. Absolutely. Okay. Our baker, Doug Stiber, in-house, makes this killer dark rye. So we're going to get a little bit more butter on the griddle. Mm. And we're going to go ahead and toast the bread as well. And I, I notice it's really thickly cut. <laughs> it is. It is thickly cut. Uh, we're going to take some Swiss cheese and throw the Swiss cheese right on there as well. Okay. And make sure that that butter gets all over that pastrami. Ooh, we're yeah. going to make a Russian dressing instead okay. of your traditional thousand. So we're going to take a little bit of ketchup. Some uh, Worcestershire sauce, some minced onion, a little bit of chopped hard boiled egg. Mm, that's fun. Absolutely. There's some mayonnaise, and then a squeeze of lemon juice as well. And boy, nothing like making your homemade dressing for the sandwich. And it's so easy, mm -hmm. you know, it literally, it takes a few seconds mm -hmm. and you get this beautiful pink hue to it. We could set that aside and reserve it. Okay. Now we're also going to use coleslaw. Normally a traditional Reuben would have, would have sauerkraut. sauerkraut mm -hmm. Right. We're going to use some uh, red cabbage and some carrot. So if you, we cut the cabbage in half and you see there's these big ribs in it. Mm -hmm. We want to take those out because they're not going to be able to break down. Okay. The more time that the coleslaw has to, to soak, to marry, the, the, the better the flavor is. We make our own coleslaw dressing in house. We can go ahead and dump that right over. We'll mix it up. And if you just leave it in the fridge for probably about as maybe two, three days, it'd be even better. And so just cabbage, carrots, a little bit of onion maybe in there? You can add onion, you can add parsley, you can add a little bit of salt. Okay. We, we strictly go cabbage, carrots. Okay. And you get the, uh, again, this has been uh, soaking for about a night. So that's so good So great to go. crunch, we'll great come flavor. Behind you. Yeah, you bet. Absolutely. We'll go ahead and take our meat, flip it over. Mm. And you can see there's a nice caramel on the meat. Oh, yeah. It is always on the menu at Horse and Plow? It is. It's been on the menu since I've been there. And it's, it's one of our most popular, popular sandwiches. So we really can't take it off. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. No, it's not words. going anywhere at all. We're also going to serve it with a little I'll side salad. Some tongs and Absolutely. start putting this sandwich together. You got it. So I think, too, this time of year, people are looking to take a fall drive. And, you know, there's so much. It's Kohler, the village of Kohler, is so quaint and so right. beautiful. And there's that whole design center where it's free. You can come get ideas for your home. It truly is. It and, truly is a story town. Yeah, and, you know, the, yeah. the, the Kohler family has done so much for Wisconsin. Yes. Uh, you know, and then, obviously, again, with the food and wine coming up, the, the resort really is a destination within itself. But you can also just go for lunch. Go watch a Packers game. Have a Bloody Mary. Have one of these great Rubens. So we can go ahead and take our meat. Throw that Ooh. right there. Oh, my goodness gracious. Go ahead and take some of that coleslaw. Wow. And you can see how nice and beautiful that looks. Go ahead and take our bread. Put that right in there. And you can see the, the hefty portion size that we serve. Go ahead and cut that in yeah, half. Yeah, I might have to share that with somebody. I'm pretty sure we could find some people to eat it around here. Oh, my goodness We're going to go ahead and take that. Wow. Stick it with a pick. Throw it in. And we have the horse and plow Reuben. With a little extra of the dressing. A little on the extra side dressing where it works for the little side salad. If you want oh. some french fries or some uh, coleslaw on the side, we can absolutely do that as well. Beer cheese soup still on the menu Beer there? Beer cheese soup's always on the menu. Oh. You know, we're, we're just really getting uh, jacked up for food and wine. It's coming up really soon. And you know, it really is going to be a, a marvelous experience. And uh, we're really excited to have you know, Lydia Bastianich and a whole uh, slew of uh, celebrity chefs that are going to join us. It is always a good time. Again, it's uh, coming up soon in just a couple weeks. It starts uh, the Thursday the 18th, right. runs through the whole weekend. Uh, Thursday the 18th, there's a big event, I IMC, where it's a bunch of local chefs and it's kind of a uh, top chef cook off yep. and they go chef ahead challenge. and yeah, it's I'll be so there. fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Where they run around and get certain ingredients and it, that one's always fun, great cause. And then they're the next morning, uh, the classes begin, and they are fun classes. It's not like sitting in school, uh, and where you're actually tasting the wines and mm -hmm. tasting the food, and uh, cheese and wine classes, and, and chocolate and wine classes, and 
Um, you just learn so much, and it's right in our own backyard. And then so. Saturday evening, we have our, our five five course dinner with uh, all the entire celebrity chef team, including Rick Boyer, our executive chef. So that'll be really fun. Tickets are still available for that, and uh, it, it's going to be really it's going to be a really really great time. We're all the chefs and the, and the entire team at the American Club are really excited for the event. I'm excited so. as well. And you can get more information on that by going to the American Club's website, which is AmericanClub.com. All right, and all the recipes that we did on uh, the show today, including that beet risotto and this amazing Reuben, which I can hardly wait to dig into you can find on our website we'll be right back thanks so much lauren thanks great to see you we'll see you in a couple weeks at food and wine absolutely i'll be there okay